a hand-drawn map. What should we do next, Holmes? According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. Some light bruising caused by a rope. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? We were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious, authoritarian, unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. 
Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. And then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behaviour? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the Baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Baths' publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? Absolutely not. Sir Rodney did, I think. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, specialising in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artefacts from the site, and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has. Thanks to Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I had shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, uh, God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting, but we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck, 
And with all the steam, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Um, uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the